Hello and welcome to Megger's technical support videos, where today we will be discussing the Power Factor Form 93500 using narrowband DFR and ITC, individual temperature correction. So the first step is to open up the appropriate PowerDB software. In this case, that's PowerDB Lite version 11.2.9. Once the software is open, you can see the list of instruments, in which we'll be choosing the Delta 4000 Power Factor test set using the Power Factor 2 winding transformer 93500 test form. With the test form open, we can see the header information up top and the nameplate information. And for temperature correction, you need four pieces of information. This was talked covered in the, using the te temperature table charts as well. So let's say 1990, oil temp 30 degrees. That's your second voltage is needed. So let's do 7,620 primary to a 480 volt secondary. We'll get the line of ground voltage and then we put in 30 kVA and now we have our rated current. So now if we were to use the temperature correction tables, we can see we have our own factor, our correction factor. Now there is another option if we click here to use ITC, which is the individual temperature correction. And this is a correction factor that is created for the transformer that you're testing. Um, and that's based off of what is called the DFR or the narrowband DFR, which is a dielectric frequency response, which is essentially power factor performed at multiple frequencies. For a narrowband DFR, that's between 500 and one Hertz. And this is particularly beneficial because power factor is much more sensitive at low frequencies. And with this, frequency sweep of power factor, you can now set an individual temperature correction factor for that very transformer and for that transformer only, rather than using a table that just generalizes the correction factor. So we'll illustrate that here by going into simulation mode, and we're going to run the C high to low. So we can see we can look through and we can go through our hookup diagram as well. So you can see we're going high to low. So we apply on high, measure on low. We have a ground, so connection there. And if we look, we can see the 60 Hertz value being ran at the 7K. And then once the 60 Hertz power factor is taken, it will do the frequency sweep at these individual frequencies that can be modified within the settings. Uh, again, giving us more sensitivity at the lower frequencies and then will give us our overall temperature correction. So let's start the test. Simulation mode. Again, it'll run 60 hertz first. Then now we go up and it'll sweep through the frequencies. And you can also tell that the voltage on this is much lower as well. And this can be modified within the settings as well. OK, now that we've completed the sweep frequency sweep down to one hertz, we can close. And you can watch the correction factor and the information be filled in. There we go. Now we have our correction factor for this specific transformer. <clears throat> and we can even go down and view these DFR results as well. Um, and this, they're all the same just because this is simulation mode, but you would get a frequency sweep that would give you a power factor across 1 to one, uh, 500 hertz. All right, and that is using the 93500 form with the individual temperature correction 
and narrowband DFR. Thanks for watching this installment of Megger's technical support videos, and tune in to some of our other videos for more information.